Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hashtag my global family. This is Drea Beta, coyote walking in this world in real life, a slut up public superhero, proud, two spirited indigenous warrior. It is um, Thursday morning. <laughs> I almost said Monday, family. Woof. This week is flying by, and I've been having lots of new adventures, new experiences, and half of them are terrifying. <laughs> Just kidding, family. Starting your own business, making your way in the world can sometimes be a little intimidating. But don't worry about me, family. Gammy always sends her guardian angels and lifts up this coyote when my panic attacks, PTSD, or depression hit me hard. So join me, family, in walking the path of our ancestors and being and creating the change that we need in this world. Oh yeah, family. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thursday. I'm so jazzed about Thursdays, family. For me, Thursday has a longer chunk of work time for me in the afternoons. So I'm like, yes, I get to do some work today. <laughs> I am going to be Dr. Dre family in May. Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre. I need to keep saying that to remind me. I am on a mission, family. <laughs> Honest to God, my mom's like, you're going to graduate, right? Like, you're going to graduate. And I'm like, yes, yes, mom, I'm going to graduate. I promise I'm going to graduate. I have had so many amazing family members, um, my global family, my birth family, my adopted family, so many people in this world family are rooting for this coyote. Looking for my lighter family. What did I do with my lighter? Found it. I found my lighter. <laughs> So many people have been rooting for this coyote family. I need to graduate. So I'm just saying, family, hold tight to your dreams. Hold them tight. Hold them tight. Hold them dear to you. And you know what? If it takes you 10 years like this coyote to become a PhD, well, you know what, family? That's okay. <laughs> it all happens exactly at the moment it's supposed to. I am also an Ivy League graduate, a published author, doctoral candidate, University of New Mexico. I am an international graduate student leader family as the past chair of the American Education Research Association Graduate Student Council. And the only one they ever tried to have arrested for trespassing family because I made them mad. I got $100,000 out of them after they told me all year long not to ask for money. <laughs> but I create community family and I secure the resources that our community needs despite the maintenance of classism and elitism and racism in U.S. empire. <laughs> Just saying, family, somebody's got to be around to kick up trouble. Somebody's got to be around there to demand the money that our students need. And my gammy says, she sent me. This week's theme, family, is the superpower of transformation. So I'm asking you, family, how have you incorporated transformation into your life? How can we incorporate change? I am constantly talking to my parents who are, uh, let me think, 61, 60, and 72, respectively, right? I have my two mamas, my mama bear and my mama tiger and my amazing super stepdad, super dad. <laughs> And yeah, they're a little bit old family. <laughs> older, older. Sorry, Gammy. Sorry, mom. <laughs> they're classics. <laughs> but I'm always pushing them to change family. Because let's be honest, I'm a radical. And the people around me who love me and support me, well, they need to understand what I'm doing. And since I change all the time, guess who pushes the people around me to change too? And you know what, family? We are all better people, more humanizing, loving people after it because we've communicated and made differences. So I'm just saying, family, join me. Let's be the change, role model the change and transform this world. I'm on a mission from my ancestors, family. And my gammy says I'm going to be president of the United States or emperor, empress of the Americas by the time I am 64. <laughs> Why not, family? Why not? Why not? We got to have big dreams, right? I am always and forever working on my dreams. 
And you know what, family? I got 26,000 followers and seven social media platforms. So I'm 41 now. By the time I'm 64, give me a couple million followers. And then, family, has not uh, <clears throat> the ex potus proven to us that celebrity means something in America? So help me, family. I am a professional celebrity, mini celebrity, <laughs> trying to get myself to the White House but I'm also a critical race, whiteness, intersectional scholar. <laughs> and I have been teaching in academia for the last 10 years, family. I'm a community organizer and I'm an indigenous researcher. <laughs> so I just saying, can we wear multiple hats? Can't we do more than one thing at a time? Oh yeah, I love role modeling what's possible. All right, family, let's get to it. Don't forget on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have yoga, yoga on the floor, family. So we're going to the mat. Let's go get ready to do this. Take my vape pen with me. Taking my vape pen with me. All right, hold on one second, family. Hold on one second. What does immersion mean? Ooh, ooh. Okay, just kidding, family. I don't know what that means. <laughs> That's what you get for playing around with Zoom. Um, yeah, that's what you get when you're playing around with Zoom. I'm just saying, family. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. And I don't think you can see me anymore. <gasps> I don't think you can see me anymore. That's a bad family. family. Technical difficulties. I'm having technical difficulties. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, my darling friend. Let's begin today's practice we in extended child's pose. Right, yeah. So if extended child's pose is not awesome for you, you can just start today's practice in a nice, comfortable seat of your choice. Also, family, do... Also, family, do remember this is a little bit more advanced, okay? So Monday or Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays is chair yoga for elders. Tuesdays and Thursdays is on the floor. Tuesdays is a little bit of a warm up. This one might be a little bit more advanced. So please don't forget, don't do anything that hurts family. <laughs> we are just trying to stretch our muscles and create a healthy rest. So do what you can. <laughs> don't hurt yourself. I love you. Benji has selected this shape. You can select your shape to really just get comfortable and find your breath and tune in because today's practice is of course an invitation to really look at the ways in which we might be stressed and understand and remember that we always have an opportunity to tend to that, to circle back to that awareness and eventually to heal from that so that we don't um, get really sick. Okay. But let's not worry about all that for now. Let's start with just tuning into the breath in an effort to bring more loving awareness to our life. Shall we? In your comfortable seat, in your Benji pose, or if you want to join me in extended child's pose, take a second to get settled in. And once you're there, right away, Bring your awareness or your attention to your breath. And really, don't skimp out on yourself uh, here. Right away, listen. What's it like today? Is the breath shallow? Is it hard? Remarkably, sometimes it's hard to breathe. And let this invitation to focus inward on your breath, let it do its thing. Invite more presence into the body by allowing one moment to simply bleed into the next. So you start by noticing the quality of your breath, but then that might inspire you to reach the arms a little wider to notice if you feel a bit tired, to notice if you actually wanted like a fiery practice today, but you find yourself here, maybe you can trust that you might need this too. And 
Now gently begin to deepen the breath. Notice the thoughts that come up here. And you know what to do, but I'll just remind you as those thoughts come up, because they will, it's just a matter of if it's five times or 500 times in our practice here today, as the thoughts come up, acknowledge them, notice them, and then return back to your breath. And that's the dance that we'll practice. That's the dance that we aim to get good at. Continue to gently deepen your breath. And if you guys don't feel it here, notice you can how you feel. You know, sit up. You can sit cross-legged. Don't feel like they're loving your heart today, or are you tender-hearted? And yes, of course, you can be both. And if you're like, I just want to chill my nervous system, get a nice little stretch in, that's great too. Wherever you are. Take one more cycle of breath to really land. And then slowly we'll carve a line with the nose to look forward and ever so slowly press into the tops of the feet and from your heart lift forward. Walk the knees underneath the chest. I said just walk the knees underneath the hips. Sorry, I got distracted because what I wanted to tell you was after you walk the knees underneath your hips, carve a line with your nose to look to the screen and look at Benji's paw in my hand. I love Benji. All right, now bring your gaze straight down. Spread the fingertips evenly. Walk your wrists underneath your shoulders. Let's move with the breath. So synchronize the breath with the movement, the movement with the breath here. As you inhale, drop the belly, open the chest, look forward, broaden through the back of the neck, so careful not to crunch. Then exhale, round through the spine, chin to chest, really create a contraction in the center of your being as you broaden through the upper back body. Let the neck kind of hang here, the head be heavy. And then here we go. On an inhale, drop the belly, open the chest, let your heart open forward, forward, forward. And then exhale, tailbone goes down, chin to chest, breathe out. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round. Inhale, claw through the fingertips, open the chest. Exhale, claw through the fingertips, navel draws up. Inhale, last time, drop the belly. Exhale, chin to chest. And now just take it off the railroad tracks a little bit here, bumping the hips a little left to right, finding a soft or generous bend in your elbow. Checking in with your hips, your shoulders, just kind of going freestyle a little bit here today and see if you can soften your gaze and Start to move with the sound of your breath. You can curl the toes under here, check in with the feet, check in with the neck. Get a little freaky here. Find what feels good. And then bring it back to tabletop position, nice neutral spine. And we're gonna slowly press the left foot into the ground, curl the right toes under and send the right toes out. Right heel really reaches, extends back, and you're gonna work to press into your right pinky toe so that your right ball and socket can really get snugly here. Right thigh bone, femur down towards the ground. Then rock front and rock back, rock front and rock back. Then the next time you rock front, you're gonna drop your elbows exactly where your hands are, interlace, hands were, then interlace the fingertips out in front. So now I'm on my forearms. Good. You're going to lift the right toes now, bend the right knee, press into your left foot firmly, careful not to collapse into the shoulders here. And then baby pulses here with the right foot up towards the sky, breathing deep. 
baby pulses. Gaze straight down, lifting the right knee, waking up the body so we're building a little bit of heat but nice and low to the ground mindfully here today. Take a deep breath in, long breath out one more time, big breath in, long breath out, release. Knee comes underneath the hip. We'll press back up to tabletop position. Press into your right foot. Curl your left toes under and send your left leg out. Rock front, rock back. See if you can bring your low belly in just a bit. Hug your low ribs in. So finding that center. Stretching through the fascia of the foot, the Achilles, the calf. Upper arm bones rotate out. So creating space between the ears and the shoulders. Working to create a whole body awareness. Then the next time you rock front, connect to your center, draw the low belly in, drop your elbows where the hands were, interlace the fingertips, this time opposite thumb on top, the one that feels kind of funky. Then you're gonna press up and out of your foundation here. I'm pressing into both elbows evenly. So there's there may be a tendency to rock on your right side. See if you can hug the midline. We'll lift the left toes, bend the left knee, and find baby pulses. Yes, this is good for your booty. Yes, this is good for your core, but we're trying to create a full body experience, right? 100% full body experience. So tuck your chin, refine, press into both knees evenly. Find your breath. If you get thrown off balance, return to the breath. Welcoming that heat. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, release, pop back up to the hands. Bump the hips to your left. Turn to look past your right, sh uh, right shoulder, yes. <laughs> come back to center, bump the hips to the right, turn to look past your left shoulder. Sweet, come back to center. Place the hands mindfully, spread the fingertips evenly, index fingers pointing towards the front edge of the mat, claw through your knuckles. Here we go, curl the toes under, deep breath in. With your exhale, peel the tailbone up towards the sky, downward facing dog. Find what feels good here, breathe deep. Close your eyes, let any stress, tension melt down the back as you continue to firmly press through your hands, working from the ground up here. So good, Inhale in. On your next exhale, find stillness. And then slowly release to the ground. Awesome. Walk your knees up just a bit. Cross one ankle over the other. We're going to come through all the way to a nice uh, flat back position. So come on to your back. We'll join Benji here. Excellent. And then when you're ready, we're going to plant the palms <clears throat> and slowly lift the right leg up high to the sky. Good. Bend your right knee, squeeze it up towards the chest. Yeah, 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 didn't go that far. <laughs> Breathe. All right, family. Do what you can. Do what you can. And take your right hand. You're going to grab either your left shin, calf, excuse me, right shin, calf, right ankle, or right big toe. If you want to use a blanket or a strap, even a dish towel works great here, you can. We're going to inhale, start to kick the right toes out towards the right side of your yoga mat. Use your left hand on the ground or on your left rib cage to slowly, slowly keep a mindfulness in the left hip. So we're opening up here. You can use a strap. You can use a towel. You can um, clasp the big toe if you can. If not, just make it your own. We want to just play a little bit here. You don't have to master the shape. Again, keep a nice firm awareness in the left thigh bone, left hip. Flex your left toes up towards the sky. And then slowly bring it back over. We're going to squeeze the right knee up towards the chest once again and then cross it over the body, supine twist. Breathe deep here. Close your eyes. Relax your jaw. And slowly come back to center, extend the right leg out, bring your hands, excuse me, extend both legs out, bring your hands back to the earth, and then keep the right leg extended uh, as you bring the left leg up. Hug the left knee into the chest, breathe. 
And then here we go, grabbing the left shin or calf, the left ankle, maybe grabbing that big toe or using a towel, a tie or a strap. We'll start to extend the left toes out, up and out. Why are the legs on the Breathe deep really? here. <laughs> Try to keep your shoulders on the ground. Leg. And then slowly reeling it all back into center. Keep the right leg extended. And here we go, crossing the left leg across the body, finding your supine twist here. Breathe deep. Inhale in, exhale to slowly melt it back to center. From here, you're gonna cross, you're gonna hug the knees into the chest, cross the ankles, grab the outer edges of the feet, and we're gonna rock all the way up to a seat again. Send the legs out long, Hashimottanasana. So here's where you might wanna grab your uh, pillow. Oh, so you wanna get a pillow? Hike the edge of your pillow all the way up to your hip creases. Family, I forgot to tell you that there's a pillow that you need. So you wanna go get one? How are you feeling so far? Just wait, family. I am trying to get certified myself for yoga <laughs> online. So get a pillow, get a pillow, get a pillow. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, family. Ugh. Let's get back to it. <laughs> Can't wait. I feel so zen. Do you? <laughs> Let's do this. Bend your knees generously, and if you want to use more than one pillow, you can, really um, bringing the earth up to you to rest your forehead. All right, inhale in, reach for the sky. Exhale, draping forward, Prashit Motanasana. Start with a nice bent knee, toes up towards the sky, heels in line with the hips to start. If you want to work to bring the feet together, um, that's up to you. I'm going to go feet hip width apart. Inhale, everyone look forward. Exhale to melt into the posture. So there's going to come a point here where you want to get out. See if you can layer in a depth of breath here, layer in the breath, <laughs> instead of coming out of the posture. See what happens. Pay attention to that moment between the inhalation and the exhalation here. Soften the skin of the forehead. Lean in. Check it out. Take five more breaths here. Count them out. Relax your shoulders. To come out of the pose, move slow. Keep the feet and the legs active. Root down through your sits bones and with soft fingers, tuck the chin and slowly roll it back up. Bring the hands together at your heart, Anjali Mudra, and just notice how you feel here, Dandasana, toes up towards the sky. Inhale in, exhale, bring your fingertips or your palms down to the earth. And just a couple seconds here to find soft, easy movement in the neck. Cool. Grab your pillow, as we say in Texas. Grab your pillow. You're going to come on to one side, your favorite side. If you have an extra pillow here, you can grab it and use it for your head or your neck. 
but your main pillow is going to go between your legs. Get comfy. So set yourself up for support here for our final posture, a little relaxation. When you're ready, close your eyes. Lift the corners of the mouth slightly. And once again, bring your awareness to your breath. Allow your breath to soften and just return to its natural rhythm, its natural flow here. Notice if you might be holding or clenching anywhere in the body, see if you can soften and relax that too. If it's bright in your space and you want to bring your top arm over to cover the eyes, you can do that here. And just take a second here to chill. And if you're already thinking about your next meal or your next task or your next to-do list item, that's totally normal. But that's what we want to kind of get at here today. Just notice if that's happening. Return back to your breath. Choose to stick it out with me here on the video and with Benji. Commit to your practice. If you're feeling good here and you have nowhere to be next, you might pause the video and stay here for a little bit longer. If you're ready to rock and roll, let's slowly take a deep breath in. Use the top arm to press into the earth, bottom arm to press our body is all the way back up. Move your pillow to the side. Bring your hands together at the heart space. Take one final loving inhale in through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. Inhale to draw the thumbs up to the third eye and exhale to bow. Thanks everyone. Namaste. Yay. <clears throat>okay so full disclosure i think i told y'all my smaller like shorter sister and she's smaller she's kind of petite family she's my hero my coach sis stephanie she threw me over her head the brazilian jiu-jitsu about three weeks ago four weeks ago my shoulder has not been the same since family it's recovering believe me it's so much better than it was but dang it still hurts so don't forget, family, when you get injured, to take time out for self-care and healing, which is coyotes really bad at, family. <laughs> I'm getting better, though. I'm scheduling in self-care now. <laughs> the superpower of a schedule. But not just the schedule, family. A schedule that works for you. <laughs> I'm so excited, family. This week, I am launching and planning, right, my life coaching, academic coaching, consulting business. I've had the Abeta Consulting Group, and I have been trying to find work for my amazing international family from around the world, but it just got real, family. This coyote is too radical, too medical, too uh, brutally honest for academia. But that's okay, family. I am a powerhouse no matter where I go. And I will use my amazing 15 years as community organizer, 10 years teaching in higher education. Shout out to my Brookline College nursing family. You save lives every single day. Thank you so much for all you do. As well as my New Mexico Highland School social work family. Social workers save! <laughs> as I'm always telling my students, depending on your positionality in the world, you have awesome power. And are you a villain or are you a superhero lifting people up? So please, family, join me in becoming more critical, more brutally honest, staring our actual lived realities in the face so we can make transformational change. In addition to being a published author, an Ivy League graduate, and medical marijuana researcher, uh, revolutionary, 
and advocate. I'm also a warrior advocate and professionally help students and victims of trauma take their cases against universities. If you are an undergraduate or graduate student who has been a victim of trauma, be it um, rape, be it um, theft of academic work, be it hostile work environment and discrimination based on your marginalized identity, whether you be a person with a disability like this coyote, who has crippling panic attacks, PTSD, and fights anxiety and depression off every day. <laughs> Family, join me in role modeling what's possible, but I am also available for consulting in my, in my warrior advocacy capacity. So together, family, we will transform this world and create change. In addition to all that jazz I do professionally, family, I am also a spiritual leader. I am pastor of Coyote's Lodge House of Spirituality, Critical Race Theory, Medical Marijuana. In an effort to decolonize family, call me just Coyote. Yeah, me, it's your favorite trickster Coyote grandchild. I am here with my family, asking for your guidance and blessings. Gammy, today's theme, the week's theme, is all about the superpower transformation. And as I've been talking with my brothers and sisters and siblings who are non-binary around the world, we have been talking about change. We have been talking about how we are feeling that there is something missing from our lives, that we are stressed, we are overworked, we have little money and little time and less patience to deal with the BS of the world. <laughs> so Gammy, we need some help. We need some courage. And honestly, Gammy, today's prayer is all about having the bravery to create change. So family, I, would, I have a mission for you. Should you choose to accept it, maybe your life will change for the better. My mission for you, family, is for you to try one, try one something new this week. Whether it be a different restaurant, maybe it's even going to the gym like normal, but trying a different routine. Maybe it's going to church and talking to someone completely new that you've never met before. Or maybe it's tackling something new like this coyote who tried ninja training, AKA parkour classes about three weeks ago, family. And I'm still going strong. It was scary. It was crazy. I have to do frog jumps and tumble and learn fall, uh, lazy vaults and swing on poles and run, uh, not run, not run. Obviously I'm not that skilled. Walk across these little still bars, family. I'm like, what? You want me to do what? But you know what, family? It's scary, but I feel great after. I'm getting agility training that's gonna help me with my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I train and compete in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu family. I was dying at 35 years old, 290 pounds, 220 to 290 my entire adult life. I was a size 16 in the fifth grade family and I only got bigger. I was dying, I had eye damage, I had kidney damage, I had nerve damage, and I could not see a future for myself. So I talked to my gammy, I talked to my family and I got support I need and had gastric bypass. And I am a superhero at 41 family. So I am a true believer in the superpower of change. So family, one thing differently, get out of your comfort zone and have an adventure with this coyote. Gammy, it's your favorite trickster coyote grandchild. And today we are asking for you to send us your bravery and courageous heart so that we have the gumption to try something new. We need some adventure in our life, Gammy. There's a lot going on. And maybe that change in our schedule, that tweak in our routine, that new friendship that we spark, maybe it's gonna feed our soul or maybe it's gonna change our lives. So Gammy, thank you for being an excellent example of a warrior woman and always making sure that this coyote and our family and communities were safe. I love you, Gammy. May you rest in peace. And to my papa family, my papa. <laughs> my papa made sure that everyone felt safe and felt loved. So papa, just as you were my big my my big honestly i would hide behind my papa when i was running away from my grandma she had a big wooden spoon y'all know what i'm talking about your abuelita your gammy your grandma they have one of those big spoons <laughs> ah. my trick though family is that i was faster than my gammy and we had like this um it was like an island almost like a circle right so it went through the living room and the kitchen it went through the hallway it went through the 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 um, the what do you call it laundry room right so i would literally run circles around my grandma <laughs> oh 
Oh, I was naughty way back then. <laughs> I love you, Gammy. So my papa was my safety when I was hiding from my Gammy. He would hide me. He would totally hide me. Papa, as I think of all the wonderful memories of my childhood and my life and all of the raising that you did of me, how much you loved me. Can you please send us that same love to our family and communities from around the world? Everyone deserves love, Papa. Everyone deserves a safe place to call home. And we have a lot of family members right now who are housing insecure, who are job insecure, who don't know where the next meal is coming from. Papa, please send them courage. Please send them help. <laughs> because this uh, myth of meritocracy and bootstrapping and blaming us for our own poverty is dehumanizing and it's a lie. Because the uh, current situations that we find ourselves are man-made by capitalism, by slavery, by colonization, and by empire. And it is no coincidence that communities of color still remain entrenched at the bottom of most metrics when we're talking about health and resources and education and jobs. That is on purpose. Papa, give us strength. Allow all of our people who are worried right now because COVID is still affecting our lives even though the world wants to go back to work. As if nothing happened, as if everything is normal which is not humanizing to us, family. So allow my people without hope to find it. Allow someone to come into their lives and change it for the better because we all need to be lifted up sometimes. <laughs> I believe in you, Papa. May you send us your guidance and your blessings and always your love. And to my great-great-grandfather, Pablo Beta, a true revolutionary and a sled of Pueblo statesman, Dear sir, you wrangle with presidents and you got 28,000 of our acres of our land back. Please, sir, give us your courage to all of your people here on this earth as we continue to fight against institutions so all of our peoples have opportunities and safety. And to all of our aunties, uncles, gammies, papas, those who have gone before us, send us your blessings as we are your children still here fighting for our communities. May you all rest in peace. Ah, family. I am emotional when I talk about my family. I miss them a lot. <laughs> I lost both of my grandparents during my PhD program. And as I come to a conclusion, as I'm going to finally be Dr. Dre, I think of everything that they gave up. <laughs> Not gave up. But the sacrifices they made so I would have an education so I could grow up going to Europe and Alaska and San Francisco and um, I could have French classes and violin classes and go to Albuquerque Academy every summer and go to private school and go to Ivy League school and go get my doctorate. <laughs> my family loves me so much <laughs> it's kind of um it's awe-inspiring to be loved that much and to know that i do honor to their memory and that my gammy and my papa are watching their little coyote and they're having a ball <laughs> i can hear my grandma's voice laughing I can see my papa smile. Ah, family, I am a true believer that we can do this, that we are our new warriors, right? We might not fight. We might not fight with bows and arrows, but I'm still starting the Pueblo Revolt family. I still fight back with my words. I fight back with my academic writings. I fight back with my research. And I fight back every time I meet an individual and I help them see the beauty in themselves. I am here to rehumanize us. I am here to spread love and joy and hope. So I'm asking you family, join the revolution. I love you. I'm off to cause trouble somewhere else.